What's up my loves? My name is Paige, this is Paige of the Page, and today we're going to be talking through the books that I acquired in April. Hello my darlings, welcome to this video. Today we're going to be talking about the books that I got in April and I am so excited to talk through what these are. I will talk through my stats and my TBR numbers and all of that and then talk about what the books themselves are. But I'm very much hoping that this will be a rapid fire book haul because I only acquired two books. One of these was a gift as I purchased it with a gift card from my birthday and the other was my own purchase. I spent on that purchase $10.19. Both of them are unread. So that's always good fun. But like, this is it, that is the main stats. In terms of TBR numbers, I read seven from my backlist and one that I had acquired in 2024. So I could have added four unread books to my TBR, but because I'm still playing catch up, we're not quite there yet. But I'm currently at 24 unread, which is amazing because collectively from the beginning of the year to now, I have read 35 backlist titles and six of my 2024 acquisitions, which means I have read 41 books off my TBR and I could have added 20 unread books. I'm at 24. When I did my goals check-in, I just realized how woo, we'd let this slip a little bit too far. And so I've managed to bring this back in from needing to read 14 books to needing to read eight. So I'm very, very happy because for my two off, I need to double the amount of what it would be. In terms of TBR numbers, mine started at 217 books and is now at 212. Ours as Ashes of my collective TBR that I want to read started at 263 and we're now at 257. So continuing to make my way down and I'm just so proud. Once I realized where my numbers were looking, I knew that February and March were roll on effect of being on deep pop caught up with me. I just, I have so many things that I'm already interested in reading, so I didn't really need to add that much more. There still are quite a few things that are calling my attention. I want to get my hands on, but I'm just waiting. And I think it might be possible to catch up soonish. I am traveling to Fiji and would like to buy a book as a souvenir while I'm over there, but I also am reading quite a few books off my shelves this month. So who knows? Let's talk about the books that I got. The first is Floating Hotel by Grace Curtis. I have zero idea about this, aside from the fact that it has been compared to Becky Chambers, Martha Wells, and Elliot Debedard. Becky Chambers is one of my favorite authors of all time. I've enjoyed Elliot Debedard's work, and I haven't read any of the Murderbot Diaries, but I'm very, very interested too. So that's, that's all I got. A hopeful story of misfits, rebels, and found family. So that sounds very wholesome. I'm very curious to see how I vibe with this. I think it's going to be a really enjoyable time. And I know that Ash also wants to read it. So we will be both being able to get to it eventually. And I think it's just a hotel in space. I very much prefer going in blind to these picks, which is basically Ash's like, I think you're going to vibe with this, so I'm just going to vibe with it. The other book that I got was The Lighthouse at World's End by Amy Sparks, and this is the fourth and final book to the House at the Edge of Magic series. I think. I'm pretty sure. I'd like to say so. I've seen everywhere that it is, but who knows? This is following nine. They are an orphan, and there's this whole mystery surrounding their parents, and the found family aspect of this is just so beautiful. I've really enjoyed the series. It's always been a fun read. It's a very... Just, it's just a delight. It's warm and cozy and similar for me in the same realm of the Pinch of Magic series. So I'm very excited. I am so curious to see where it all ends up wrapping up. This is it. This is my April book haul and I am so, so happy to have this just to be a book that I really want to get to and finish off the series and also one that Ash has recommended and thinks I will enjoy and giving that a shot as well. I also got Two books out from the library, which is The Body Keeps the Score by Bessel van der Kolk. And I'm very excited to get to this. It's looking at the impact of trauma and the actual transformation that can have on your mind, body, and brain. And sorry, I'm very curious to dive into this. I am hoping to get to it in 
May. I then also picked up a curveball because I saw that it was available and I need to read it for Pokemon. And that is An Immense World by Ed Young. And I don't know if I'm going to get to this in May, but I would like to give it a go. So we'll see. Oh, there's so many cute pictures. No, look at them. But because I had it out and I had such a short April haul, I thought I might just mention these as well. Oh, I feel so good. And the thing is, I know I don't need to acquire a lot of books. I'm very appreciative for the ones that get sent and the fact that I still have money to be able to get more than I'm interested in. But I have so many. I have so many that I'm so interested in reading. So I want to get to those. So that is my teeny tiny book haul for April and I'm very, very happy. So I hope you have enjoyed. Let me know in the comments down below what you acquired in April and how you're going with your reading. Is there anything that you picked up in April that you can't wait to dive into? So leave anything you want to let me know in the comments down below. And if you like this video, feel free to give it a big thumbs up. And if you'd like to see more of this mess, feel free to subscribe. I'll hopefully see you on my next video. Bye!